She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me. <laughs> of course she loves me. Ah, uh, welcome. Come in. It's always a pleasure to see you. Oh, <laughs> right. We haven't met before. Sorry, I must have mistaken you for someone else. <laughs> Although, I couldn't see that being possible, you know? Because looking at you... <clears throat> so, how can I help you? Of course, we have a wide range of flowers. Are you looking for anything particular? Okay, just looking around. I see. Liking anything so far? By that I mean the flowers, of course. <laughs> May I suggest magnolia? I find them quite interesting because they actually come from a tree rather than a ground plant. And there's a wide variety, but each is sweet-smelling and delicate. Oh, if you're looking for something that smells nice, there's also lavender. And if you're going to put that in a bouquet, I'd suggest in a bouquet of mixed flowers. Lavender is known for uh, helping one sleep, and I'd love to be able to help your dreams. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, maybe a rose is more to your liking. One second. There you go. Oh, uh, don't mind the thorns. Even beautiful things have their edges. And I uh, tend not to trim them. I think it adds to the aesthetic. What about this one? It's your favorite color. How did I know that? <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> Do you know uh, that it's uh, not just the flower that's important, but it's the color as well, because every color has its own meaning. It's called flower language. Take the rose, for example. There's a wide color spectrum of roses, and uh, the typical rose, the red rose, conveys a deep, Emotion, most associated with love or romance and beauty, longing and desire, among other things, but it's not the only one. For example, blue roses over there, the unobtainable and the impossible. You send that to someone who you believe is so beautiful they might be impossible to obtain. The coral roses are for desire, enthusiasm and excitement. A deep pink is for gratitude and appreciation. And the classic deep red is heartfelt regret and sorrow and unconscious beauty. And then lavender is love at first sight and enchantment. It gives a really nice hue to it. And it just is so beautiful. Light pink is admiration Sympathy, sweetness, and innocence. Orange is desire, enthusiasm, passion, energy, intense desire, fever, fascination, and excitement. Pale peach is modesty. And then regular peach <laughs> is deep appreciation and gratitude. So there are some that mimic others. So if you feel like you want to show your gratitude to someone, but pink isn't really the car color. <clears throat> you can always go for peach. And then regular pink is appreciation, grace, perfect happiness, admiration, joy, gratitude, gentleness, and sweetness. Mm -hmm. All of that in a pink rose. Purple is regal majesty, splendor, fascination, and adoration. And a fun fact about the purple roses. During the medieval times, purple was a color that only the rich could afford. And so that is why it is associated with something regal. Yes, it's quite interesting. A regular red rose, as we know, is love. Romance, beauty, perfection, courage, longing, desire, respect, admiration, and devotion. And red and white together is unity. A red rosebud, so taking the rose before it fully blooms, is purity and loveliness. And a white rose is purity, innocence, 
youthfulness, charm, new beginnings, and remembrance. Hence why it is often put graveside for remembrance. Mm -hmm. Yellow roses are for joy, friendship, welcome, caring, platonic emotions, and happiness. So if you want to send a friend a bunch of flowers, but uh, don't want them to get the wrong idea, you send them a yellow. But be careful, because a yellow with red tips means falling in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> green is... Oh yes, you can get green roses. Yes. So it's life, growth, renewal of life and energy, rejuvenation of the spirit, harmony, wealth, luxury, fertility, peace, tranquility, best wishes for a prosperous life, and wishes for recovery and good health. Another one with quite a lot of meanings. And black rose. Well, that's for death and farewell. Death of uh, feelings or ideas and death of relationships. That's quite a sad rose. And then the final one is a nice mellow cream colored rose. And that's for charm and thoughtfulness. Mm -hmm. Now, the amount of roses you get also matters because getting one rose versus getting 13 doesn't just show that you're willing to uh, splash out the cash. It also means certain things. So, a single rose is the utmost devotion and a way of saying thank you. Two roses is intertwined together communic communication. <laughs> so, it's usually reserved for people who want to say, will you marry me? And uh, six roses signifies a need to be loved and cherished. Eleven roses is assurance that they are truly and deeply loved. So, I'd say send 11 roses to someone that you already love. Perhaps you know, a mother or father, you say. Send them the 11 roses to let them know that they are truly loved. And 13 roses. Lucky number 13 is for secret admirers. Mm -hmm. It's all quite intricate. It's a shame that most people are ignorant of the meaning of flowers. I believe that the language of flowers deserves more credit because you're saying something with a living thing that you loved and cared for, only to give it away. <coughs> so, uh, uh, what are they for? What's, what's the special occasion? Or the special someone? Oh, they are... I thought you were just browsing. But it seems you had other things in mind. I see. Well, I can still help you through uh, this situation. <clears throat> uh, I'll be right back. Oh, the door? Uh, we're just past closing, so I'm locking it so we're not disturbed. I mean, in interrupting you while you look. <sighs> Don't worry. I have all the time in the world to be with you. And help. So, who are these for? Uh, wh whoever you are buying the flowers for. I, I can't help but be a little jealous. <laughs> I'm sure they will appreciate the effort, you know. Of actually knowing the meaning of your gift. <laughs> Makes me so happy that I'm the one to help you with that. Uh, why don't you check out these flowers, then? These are petunias, and they're quite new. Petunias symbolize a desire, this time you want to spend with someone, because you find their company soothing and peaceful. It suits you quite well, doesn't it? Oh, those? Those are morning glories, but they aren't quite ready yet, so, uh, maybe you'd like something else. Yes, if you're not careful and pluck a flower too soon, it'll wither in your arms. You have to know that just the right time. Mm -hmm. So, I was wondering what kind of person 
had the pleasure of being given these flowers by someone like you. Mm. I just thought that maybe you could give me more insight to how to assist you, yeah. <laughs> to receive flowers from you. I can only imagine how much more beautiful they'd be. <laughs> oh, they sound very dear to you. That's nice. Well, it's no wonder you're so keen on getting the perfect flower for them. Don't worry, take as much time as you need choosing. There is no rush. Stay as long as you like. If none of these flowers interest you, I do have more to further in. It's just beyond these doors. They're more delicate, so uh, you have to keep them somewhere safer. Mm -hmm. And tended to with care. Since this is a special occasion. Oh, and you're getting that special someone flowers. I mean, <laughs> you should uh, look at more some interesting options. Yes, just uh, follow me. Mm -hmm. Here we have some Delayla flowers. Beautiful name, don't you think? The Victorians used uh, the Delayla to signify a lasting bond and commitment between two people. They also symbolize elegance and dignity. Mm -hmm. What about some daffodils? I see they've caught your attention. Oh, their meaning? Well, from what I can remember, they're supposed to symbolize chivalry and respect, but also uncertainty, unrequited love, and return my affections. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to know these things from the top of my head. I can't go around helping my customers with a big old book of flowers now, can I? <laughs> my hands need to be completely free. Hmm? That sweet smell? <laughs> oh, that's just the lily of the valley. It's a sweetly scented, highly poisonous woodland flower plant. <sighs> yes, the scent of the wildfire can be quite overwhelming. Are you feeling dizzy? Here, let me steady you. You look so darling with that sleepy look. Oh, you're fine. All right, if you say so. I'll stick close to you, though, just in case. Those? Well, I like to call them Belladonna, for the scientific name of that particular flower is Atrobus Belladonna. Why? Well, because their common name might be a bit less appealing to my customers. They're known as a uh, deadly nightshade. They have a highly poisonous fruit, and the flowers are a symbol of deception, danger, and death. <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't want those flowers, even though they're quite beautiful. Sometimes the most beautiful things are dangerous. We trust beauty, but it often deceives us. Oh, here? About some hibiscus. Uh, they flourish particularly in warm climates, so you need to keep them in a warm environment at all times. They have various meanings for different cultures, but they generally symbolize a rare and delicate beauty. <laughs> just like, uh, well, just like you. If anything, you're the one who should be receiving flowers. I reckon you deserve a whole garden of them. <laughs> well, I don't mean anything by that. I'm just telling you what I think. Forgive me for being so, uh, so forward. But, uh, seeing you up close like this, I almost feel happy. Can you feel my heartbeat? I think I can hear yours. Such a quick pitter patter. Oh, you've got a pedal in here. Here, let me get that for you. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Let me get that. I don't want you to get hurt, my rose. Oh, nothing. Please, don't worry about it. I'm not upset at all, I promise. Here, let me take care of that. I can't have you damaging those delicate hands of yours. 
I'm used to a little pain dealing with thorns and stuff like that. There we go. There. That's better, isn't it? Oh, do you have to go now? Oh, you need to be somewhere else today. That's such a shame. I have more flowers to show you. Besides, I can't let you leave my shop empty-handed on this... Oh, so special person you're giving flowers to. Mm. Oh no, I insist. I'm sure we can find something for them. Did any of the flowers I've previously mentioned have any... Mm. How about I give you some more information on them? Did you know that petunias also symbolize anger and resentment towards the receiver? And black delayless could be a symbol of betrayal and dishonesty. Not that uh, black delays are actually black, they're a dark red or a burgundy color. Isn't that interesting? Why do you look so frightened, Rose? Leave. Already. But you can't leave. I'm sorry. What I mean is, you won't leave. If you're to go, my heart may break. Can't you see? Among all these flowers, that you're the most beautiful bud. You can't go before our love has blossomed. You see? Oh, no, don't run away from me, my rose. Now, where could you have gone? She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. There you are, my rose. <laughs> Just as I thought. Having you here with me. It's too agonizing to let you go. After being this close. Well, it's true that if you hold a rose too closely, you'll be filled with thorns, but... There's only one way to love a rose. And I'm so tired of loving you from afar. You know the reason I've always loved flowers so much? It's maybe because no matter how much you appreciate their beauty, you know deep down inside that they will die eventually. And you can't stop it. No matter how hard you try. And for me, that makes them more special. To appreciate their beauty for as long as possible. I hope you last longer than the others. This script was by Reina, Hira, Vivi, and Tori. Thank you very much. And thank you, Vivi, for the wonderful artwork. You all did a fantastic job. Mm. <laughs> uh.